All right, guys, I found the right key and we are back. So I just unlocked the container. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now, if I had some more money, I'd go ahead and purchase two or three more of these things. When I bought this, it was only 2,900 bucks delivered. Um, now that was pre-COVID in 2019. Now a container like this is five, six, seven grand. Um, I've seen um, containers going for around five grand just for 20 footers. This is a 40 footer and it's a high cube. So um, pre-COVID, these were affordable. Now they are pretty much um, no longer really technically affordable. I mean, you can still get them. You got deeper pockets than me, which is uh, not hard to do. But anyways, we have a bunch of my mechanic scooters here. Just have some uh, waste oil. So I'm gonna squeeze by here. And here you can see the C10 cab. Now we completely redid this cab. We did new drip rail on the windshield here. We did new inner and outer rockers. We did new floor pan. We did some work up there. This is new. Some of the rear section is new. I got a little flashlight. So we got the doors right there. Those are new doors, body work fixed. There's my cow induction hood for the Nova. It's all body worked, ready to go. There's new cab corners. This is a customer's C10 cab. Um, it is actually a waiting pickup. Actually, it should be picked up um, here shortly. Um, I was hoping this week, um, but uh, this is a project that my old partner, uh, Tommy at Vicious Auto Works and I started together and uh, I kind of took over the rest of the bodywork on the cab, went ahead and put it in high build primer. I did U-pull Raptor liner on the floor and uh, he's gonna go ahead and he's already got the frame uh, sandblasted, powder coated, new suspension parts going back on it. And he's gonna go ahead and take the cab and take over. The rest of the truck is new, it's got a new bed and all that. So anyways, Tommy Moore at Vicious Auto Works is gonna go ahead and then take over this project and finish it up. There's the cow. There is my uh, fancy Troy built lawnmower. And uh, here is the Holy Grail 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle. It is not a true SS car. It was a Malibu, but um, this is fully repainted. Frame's been sandblasted, powder coated in a high gloss finish. We got UMI upper and lower adjustable control arms. We got adjustable coilovers, full Willwood, four wheel disc brakes, quad piston, slotted drilled rotors, you name it, stainless steel brake lines. The firewall has been refinished, retrim blacked, car has been jammed, the entire underbody, um, floor pans have been replaced, quarter panels have been replaced. Um, we did a U pole Raptor liner inside and out. Um, on the floor pan on the inside of the vehicle I don't know if you guys can see that there, but we got u-pole Raptor liner inside and out I'm not sure if I can get these doors open There we go You can see it is jammed headlight bezels <laughs> Grills been painted brand new white seats in the plastic still of course there's more parts than this but I know it's hard to see so bear with me guys but it's fully repainted we did SS stripes on the front and back you just see some wet sand dust but you can see the underbody was completely U-pull Raptor linered got new um, energy suspension polyurethane bushings so you can see the frames beautiful powder coated you can see the rear end's been rebuilt There's the Willwood disc brakes, lowering springs, adjustable UMI suspension, the stainless steel brake lines, you name it, sway bars. Everything is brand new. And the entire floor has been U pull Raptor lantern. So there's the, I think it was a Viking Performance adjustable shocks and adjustable coilovers but this car besides being just covered in a light light film of dust is absolutely beautiful fully restored fully repainted 
I haven't shown anybody this. This was the last car that I painted for Vicious Auto Works, which is a company Tommy Moore and I started together and he still runs and operates it to this day. So shout out to Vicious Auto Works and Tommy Moore. Anyways, this car is just sitting in here for storage. They're trying to work it out with the customer to potentially um, get the motor rebuilt and uh, get it stuffed back in here. But uh, we'll see, it's been quite some time since we started this project, too long. So um, it would be nice to see the motor at least stuffed in here, the rest of the body assembled and detailed, and uh, maybe at least get the carpet and the seats in and maybe the customer can come and pick it up and maybe button up the last little final details himself. I don't know, but that would be my suggestion is uh, hopefully let the guys at Vicious assemble a little more and get the motor in and maybe uh, get some seats in so it looks like a car again. And then uh, I would come get it because it is just takes a lot of time, money and labor. Insane amount of labor on restoration. And honestly guys, I'm getting away from the full restoration because that car when it's done to be worth over a hundred grand i don't know if anybody would pay it but that's how much it costs i mean they say it's cheaper to buy one than to do it than to restore one so they're not wrong so anyways guys this is what i used to love to do i still do but uh it takes the right customers and uh a lot of money in a big checkbook to uh do something like this and it's not even done yet this cab has thousands of dollars into it of metal work time and labor and uh, like I said, it's just a lot of work. So, see my mechanics custom Honda scooters. He's got this one all built and modded out. So, there you guys have it. I've never shown anybody the Chevelle and the C10. Um, the channel has only seen the 68 C10 once. Um, I'm kind of pumped to show you guys the Nova the jetta and the civic um my boat and my truck aren't going anywhere the nova and the c10 probably won't go anywhere either um the jetta at some point will probably be sold after we're done with it we'll do some promo and stuff the shop del sol build will at some point probably go after we're, we're more further along in the project and uh this is just a project that i've been kind of wanting to do a little something different um but we'll see, like I said, it's probably about a year out at least because I got to do the C10 and the Nova. Now the C10 should be coming in here shortly, um, followed by the Jetta and then the Nova. So um, projects like my truck, that's a daily driven vehicle that runs and drives as is, it's ready to go. So uh, I'll just keep picking away at that regularly outside of work uh, here and there and I'll keep you guys updated. So um hope you guys enjoyed the collection i know it's nothing crazy i'm not rich but it is quite the little collection um i figured uh i'd show you guys that we had a commenter a subscriber uh kind of ask if we could if i could show so i'm kind of glad i had a few minutes today to show you guys that but i gotta get back in the shop i gotta get back on that ford fiesta and get it fixed and repaired that way i can um paint it on monday so all you guys have a great weekend like this video, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. <sighs> ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Bonzo. Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah. They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't trust me. I'm too lucky. Look at me, look at you, what you see, what you do.